Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Acer Nitro or Acer Nitro 5 and the exact model for this one is an Acer Nitro 5 AN515-52-738F and in this video I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can remove the battery or replace the battery. This applies for any Acer Nitro 5 AN515 series so it doesn't have to be exactly the same model and it's pretty much the same logic so by replacing the battery you're not going to change anything in the system everything's going to be the same way that you left it just i'll give you a tip at the end of the video how to keep your battery health at the best performance state and, and just before we start you want to save up all your work power off completely don't put it on a suspension or hibernate anything like that just power it off completely save up your work and you want to flip it upside down and you will need a good screwdriver set. I'll recommend always iFix screwdriver sets as they have one of the best bits out there. You're going to use a Phillips number one. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab a metal or guitar picks. Are really suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, with these two on hand, we're going to get it started. So we're going to see a whole bunch of screws everywhere in here, even on the tiny service covers. You're going to remove all the screws. Even the one on the service covers, remove everything and keep them in one pile. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Just go ahead and start from one corner, make sure you don't miss any. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. Alright, now that we remove all the screws. We need to remove the cover for the hard drive. Just this cover right here, It'll just lift it up, pop it open, and you're gonna remove four screws that are holding the hard drive in place. Once you do that, just lift up the hard drive gently, move it to one side like this, don't pull it too much, and then you wanna pull this jack backward slowly so you don't pull it too fast and move the hard drive. All right, now what you need to do is to grab the opening tool, Open up the laptop a little bit and stick it between the bottom cover and palm rest and you just want to twist it in there and you want to hear this big click sounds. I'm sticking about two or three millimeter in there. Just work yourself all around in the front. Work yourself to the side. And work all the way to the back corner. Once you did this side, you can do the left side too if you want. And all you want to do is just grab it, wiggle it around, and push it towards the back, and the bottom cover will come loose. And right away, we can see the battery right in here. The battery is held down by two screws, one and two. Before we do anything, we just want to put your fingers on the side of this jack and pull it back. So that's how you can disconnect it. Then you want to remove these two screws. Okay, if it wants to come off. Now you can grab the battery up. Um, there's a tiny hook that goes under the plastic. Bring it forward. There's a one, two, three, four cell battery. It's not inflated or anything like that. It shouldn't be. And the model is on right away here in the corner. Big one, it says AC14B8K. So I'll try to get the link for this one and I'll leave it in the video description in case you want to purchase yours. The battery for the CMOS is right in here for the BIOS. To disconnect it, just pull the cable and replace it. But usually you don't need to replace that one. All right, once you get the new battery, put it down, put the front end right, let me just put this one in there, right in here, and bring it down, put the two screws, and what you wanna do, you wanna bring the jack, the red cables have to face towards the right side towards the ram and the black cable has to be facing towards the fence and then you want to align it in front of the jack and you want to push it inside the connector straight and pinch it right in there once you're done with that all you want to do grab the bottom cover bring it over push it from the back end down and push the side i'm working on a flat surface so i'm pushing it down straight and if you see any gaps opening just pinch them together and it will go to its place and what you want to do in here first Put, grab the hard drive in, a, in this angle and push the connector in there. Put the hard drive on top and grab the screws. 
and put it right over the caddy. Once you did this one, once you did this, grab the cover, put it right on top. I'll put this side of the cover on the left side down first, and then bring it down and squeeze it down. And to finish it off, you just put the rest of the screws wherever you find a screw hole. And this is how you replace or remove the battery for your Acer Nitro 5. Now, regarding the uh, new batteries, I really recommend you guys, once you put the new battery in, do not power on the laptop right away. Leave it off and connect the charger while it's off for at least three to four hours. After two, three to four hours, you wanna power on the laptop without the charger connected, and you wanna discharge the battery slowly, put, bring down the brightness of the screen down to 50% or 30%, and put some video, don't put any gaming or anything heavy load, just gently, you wanna bring the charge down to 30-20%. Once it's down to 30-20%, you want to power off the laptop and then you want to leave it charging again for another 3-4 to four hours. After 3-4 to four hours, then you can power on as you wish and use it the way you always do. This initial charge and discharge it is very important for the new batteries for the initial usage. And you should be doing this process once every couple of months to keep the health of the battery at the best performance state and it's called a battery memory again i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out if you have any question or request please feel free to leave them in a video comment i'll try to answer them as soon as i can as always thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video just gonna put the rest of this course